Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're watching Jun Zhang versus Jun Seo Bay, uh, specifically because, well, these two are both Korean powerhouses, and because some people have been requesting uh, they want to see how to win as a taller fighter versus a smaller fighter. Uh, I know some of you guys are saying, well, you're taller, so you just cut kick and you win. But there's a little bit more nuance to that, and we're going to be going into that. Specifically for these two, um, well, in general, principles of a taller fighter are, yes, use your range. Obviously, fight from range, so you don't want to be fighting too much in the clinch. You're going to see in this match that Jin Jang, the taller Korean here, um, he, he cancels to meet Jin Seo's initial movements then just moves to defense or backs out completely most of the time because he doesn't want to be fighting in that enclosed space then the other thing you're going to see from Jin Jang is as a taller fighter it, you're going to have to predict enemy movement so if you predict if the smaller fighter is crushing you with the distance he's closing in over and over again then you need to kick short obviously if they fade back sometimes like Jin Seo does he'll 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 try and get just out of distance and you got to kick long and trying to meet him that way so keep those two principles in mind uh, as we're watching this fight. Junseo doing Junseo things by bringing pressure. Notice how Junjang doesn't even try to really fight. He just backs out in the clinch. Meets that initial. And then um, they're taking off from range. So I want you, like, really quick, just even in this clip, I mean, stuff happens. Junjang's not even trying to mess with Junseo in the clinch. He just kind of backs away, plays defense. Then when he's out of range and he can get his leg up first, that's when he launches his attack. Meets the cancel and then just meets with a cancel then just defense. Really simple defense. You don't want to be exchanging with smaller fighters. Um, both Jun Jing and Jun Seo Bay like, have been playing off this like timing reset a little bit. So that's why you'll see them reset and then go right away because they're trying to get the, um, they're trying to be the one to set the pace. And Jin Jing just playing defense here in the clinch. That is um, sometimes advisable, but in this match, for some reason, Jin Seo Bay, the smaller blue fighter, doesn't really go for the head. So we don't always, um, that's not always advisable, but it's an option. And then from here, you can kind of see that there is a small exchange. He had better foot positioning there and then goes right for the time and reset, scores another one. Cancels and backs out. So, like, this is the stuff I'm talking about here. He doesn't even try and fight him just here. Cancel. I think he's also canceling because Jun Seo can float this into an axe kick, and he doesn't want to try and deal with the axe kick. So, he, he cancels just to negate that and then backs off. And then kicks super long for the head because he knows Jun Seo likes to earn. Yeah, he likes. He knows Blue likes to fade back, it seems like, on most of the kicks. So, he kicks uh, a little bit longer than normal. Playing defense, playing defense, playing defense, playing defense. And then once it re reset from range, then he goes again. I mean, there's a little gumjang. Defense, defense. Actually, sorry. I'm just saying defense. Boom. Defense, and then right one, there's enough space where he can win uh, long range. Try with I guess there for the head. That was that was a good trap by Jin Sale. Unfortunately, it didn't connect. The reason that was really good is because, like I was saying, Jin Jing has been canceling, just canceling off the first movement, canceling off the first movement. He tried to set a trap here in the last five seconds. Was a good idea. Was slightly not high enough. Really, really good. Uh, I mean, this is this is pretty over. In the next round, um, I'm gonna let you guys watch this just a little bit because this is where Jin Seo um, initiates a little bit more often. Or not Jin Seo, I'm sorry. This is where Jin Jang initiates a little bit more often. Long range head kick goes for the body. Is a little bit more uh, toward pressing the fight here, using his range first. And then cancel. There's a cancel then. Oh, I guess he's trying to fight him now. Maybe there's a slightly different, slight difference in the coach. Oh. 
because I canceled on defense. Oh, and that's it. So overall, guys, key points, takeaway, just to recap again. Uh, you want to keep your opponent at a distance. Obviously, it's better for the smaller fire to fight at a close distance. You don't want to be fighting them there. So Jin Jang canceled just to negate that first kick, then blocked, played defense until there was some distance that he had op optimal distance for him. Then he would go. Then you want to attack from distance, and you need to kick predictable. Like you need to think about where they're, how they're crashing in on you. Are they fading out once, like Jin Seo is, and then trying to come back in, or are they crashing you right away? If they crash you right away, kick short, kick short to the head. They're gonna run into it. If they're kicking long, or if they're they're fading back one, then you want to kick some um, kind of in place so, you, so it's not too predictable. But in general, you're gonna want to kick long. That sounds obviously obvious, but you need to start. If you're a taller fighter, you need to start kind of oh, doing no. that in your fight. Otherwise, the small guy is gonna uh, manipulate your game a lot. Also, as a taller fighter, this is kind of more subtle, but Jin Jang's also moving around with his footwork. He's not just standing there trying to cut someone in place. Um, he's disrupting Jin, or he's disrupting Jin Seo Bae's offense with his footwork, so it's hard for Jin Seo to know when he's coming in and going out. So that's it for today, guys, uh, and I'll see you next time.